Karen from ediblewildfood.com here and I just finished a plant walk with a group of incredible individuals and it was so amazing to see the excitement on some of their faces when they were experiencing tastes for the first time. I want to thank each and every one of you who are watching this for coming out this morning. And also I want to make sure I thank everybody who's watching this video right now, all my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, if you can do me the kindness and consider subscribing to my channel. So even though everyone has gone home and only my car is left, I'm not going yet. I am on another mission. I was sharing with everyone on my walk today how I created a recipe called the Dandy Muffin Top. And this is what I'm going to go home and work on this afternoon. But first, I'm going to gather flowers. Easy to pick. And when I get home, I will remove the green part, the sepal, as best as I can. There'll be some green parts in it. That's no big deal. However, I'll show you the rest when I'm in my kitchen. Okay, so I have done my fair share of picking. As you can see, that is a sign of a good time. Now to get these guys back home. First things first. I've let them sit out here for a little while so that if any insect wants to escape, it has time like that one right there. Anyway, and if there are some in there and they don't quite escape, then that'll be extra protein for me. The next step is I have to remove as much as possible the green part of the flower, which is going to be very difficult. There we go. I'm becoming a little bit better at being left-handed. Now I have to do it here with all of them. I also gathered some buds. They're going in here. And you'll see what I'll do with those later as well. But right now my focus is on getting the flower petals and I'll show you what these all look like when I'm done. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm finally done. I didn't really gather a lot of the buds, but what I'll do with those is find one of my homemade uh, pickle jars that I still have the brine, and I'll just plop it in there for now. And this is going to be transformed into muffins. This, I've made sure I've taken the stems off all these flowers and I'm gonna let them sit here on my tray, but I'll be putting this inside for a couple of days just to dry them out just a little bit. Then I'm gonna be making a salve with them. Eventually, I have to let them infuse in the uh, oil for a while, but that will be another video. Anyway, done. Next step, muffins. I'll put a link to my recipe below. And what I've done is I've taken out all the ingredients that I need. So you can see there's really not a lot. And I'm going to create two batches actually. I wanna try something new. I wanna see if I were to add some chocolate chips, if that would ruin the recipe at all or if it will actually enhance it for those who like chocolate. And my husband will be the taste tester for that one. And I have my parchment covered baking sheet ready. So everything is gonna go into my blender and I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, so I've jacked my phone up so I can show you what I've done here. I put everything into the food processor with the exception of the dandelion. And what I'm going to do now is slowly but surely add this in and I'm going to continue stirring to make sure that it's getting properly blended and add a little bit more. And I'm only doing a little, a little handful at a time because the petals kind of clump together and you don't want that to happen when it's in the mixture. You want to make sure that it's being evenly distri distributed throughout the dough. And one last time. I'm going to make sure it's properly blended. It takes a little bit of muscle power, not a heck of a lot. I'm doing this by hand because sometimes the blender will leave chunks of it behind and you don't get that proper consistency. So this way you can keep working it until you get everything blended properly which is just about now. You can see it's very dough-like, the way it just kind of hangs in there. All right, so I'm now gonna put this on the parchment-covered baking sheet, and I'll give you a little peek at them before I put them in the oven. I used a spoon and just kind of plopped it down on the paper. Then I found I had to kind of help to shape it to retain its round shape. Now these are gonna go into the oven. And here we go, first batch completed. The reason why I called this the dandy muffin top recipe is because when you look at them, they actually do look like the tops of muffins. And let me try to get the lighting proper here. And they definitely have the consistency of a muffin. So this is batch number one done. Now I'm going to see how it turns out with chocolate chips. So there you go, a handful of chocolate chips added into this recipe and it was a success. So if you love chocolate, why not add in chocolate chips? There we go, lots of dandy muffin tops today. And once again, I will have a link to this recipe below. And if you could do me the kindness to help get a little bit more shares on that recipe, that would be fantastic. And of course, if you're new to the channel, if you could do me the kindness and consider subscribing. And to each and every subscriber out there, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching, everyone.